Hello, I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery here in Canmore, Alberta. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. I absolutely love my job and uh, I want to share my passion, which is paper crafting, in hopes that it will brighten people's day. Such a simple thing, such as card making, that you can uh, easily give out to people and it can change the course of their day. So that is my purpose, that's my why uh, for my paper crafting and having my own little business here. All right, if you pop on tonight, please say hello, tell me where you're from. And um, with this program, I can't see when you pop on unless you say hello, so give me a little, you know, hi, and I will, I would love to chit chat with you tonight. Um, if you enjoy these videos, would you please give me some hearts, some thumbs up, um, make sure you comment lots because Facebook's algorithms, of course, make it uh, so that the more interaction that I get on this video, the more it kind of allows people to see this uh, video. So if you could help me out by doing that, that'd be awesome. Um, also, if you could share this video, I'm going to give out um, a handmade card tonight. So if you share the video, um, I will put your name in a draw and let's see who gets one of my handmade cards. All right, so that's kind of how this is going to work. Hello, Wendy and Chrissy. How are you guys tonight, this morning, this afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> wherever you're watching from it's all different right all right so tonight we're gonna use the best catch stamp set and the catch of the day framelits so this is one stamp set that I have had a little trouble with um, I know that others have too just from kind of the comments that I've heard about it it's a great stamp set um, for masculine cards of course and for fisher people <laughs> but sometimes it's a little bit tricky to kind of get in the groove with this one so hopefully these cards tonight will help you out with this stamp set thank you Chrissy for sharing this video that's awesome and same with Wendy thank you all right so let's get rolling so this is our first card tonight very simple but it's kind of uh, a neat technique early afternoon okay and so just a little bit of something on the inside and whoops for the envelope here I added the wood grain down here and some of the hook stamp and of course I used a dauber for this technique so let's show you how I made this Get out all the items out of my little bucket. So how are you ladies? And it's stinking hot. Oh, still, hey? How long does that your season go for? Your, your summer, I guess it's your summer. Opposite to our winter. So go for quite a long time, I assume. Okay, so I've already pre-cut um, a whisper white piece of cardstock to go on the inside, but I'm just gonna put that over with the envelope right for the moment. I'll work, work on that after. So this one is, I believe, three by uh, three and three quarters by five inch whisper white. Hello, Tanya Ross. I'm doing well. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so I've got myself a template, and I don't even remember what the size of it was. It's so old, I use it so often. Two and three quarter inch. So I believe, I, I think the punch is two and a half, I'm gonna say, I'm not sure. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay this template down onto my Whisper White cardstock. Just kind of get it kind of closer to the top. Oh. I should have got my stamp pad out and ready first. I'm using a dauber, which is just like a little foam 
piece on the end of this um, plastic bit and so it allows you to make some fun marks some smudging that kind of thing so inside the template all I'm going to do is I like to use little circles some people like to dot um, different techniques so I'm just holding this template in place starting to smudge around the outside I'm doing good just sitting here at home relaxing and doing some diamond painting Wow that sounds intriguing hmm you might have to in the comments you should show us a picture what that looks like sounds neat all right so we filled in that that's going to be kind of our sun at sunset I suppose and then down um, here I'm just going to use this edge to kind of um, fill in a little bit just lightly this is going to be our kind of our water where the Fisher dude is going to be sitting in the lake or the river just just ever so delicately and then I'm going to go up here and this one I'm just going to do a little bit of daubing there a little bit of extra and go closest to the sun here but I'm not pushing quite as hard with the dauber you can also use the um, sponges for this if that's your preference of course I just like the daubers they um, to me they're a little less messy but to each their own and I believe the sponges are a little less um, intense looking they don't pick up quite as much color okay I think I wanted that a little darker on this portion okay let's just add a little bit of yellow a little bit more So with this technique, with the sun and whatnot, I mean, you could use it for so many backgrounds. I know I used to use it for the, uh, remember those Adirondack chairs? So I had them in front of the big sun, or the, I guess it'd be like a sunset, I suppose. And uh, it was adorable, with two little chairs, and then I had a little a little heart in between and it was quite cute so now to make the water a little bit ripply I suppose I'm just going to take the edge of the dauber and just kind of do you see how I did that I don't know if you can see so I'm just kind of putting some marks on the bottom there just to make it kind of look like little ripples and of course you can do as many or as little as you want I think that looks good and I'll just put this away for now the next step is going to be to put our little our fisherman hello Shirley how are you doing are you cooking to death I see lots of people are going to join me on the no buying craft supplies on February 29th, 30th, 31st. <laughs> I saw that, I thought it was great. Okay, so just kind of centerish. I always want to tilt him, but he's, he's, if you follow kind of the water, it'll give you kind of a better guide as to what is straight and what isn't. There we have it. Get my Simply Chamois here. So yes, I had the Anirondack chairs before. I've had those puppies, you know, the uh, happy tails. So I had the two little puppies facing each other with this kind of style of card. And uh, that was always fun. Okay, 
So now I'm going to put this onto a piece of my wood grain paper. I think this is my all time favorite paper ever. All right, good part about it. You can pick which side you like the best. And this I believe is cut at four inches by five and a half. Let me get some snail here. All right. Placing it in the center. And it's time to go on to the front of the card. Now, I do not know what saying to put on the front. Um, to me, I don't know. I didn't want to ruin <laughs> kind of the look of it. But it could be like sympathy, to be honest. It could be um, happy birthday. But you can always put those things on the inside of the card, right? So that's actually what I'm going to work on right now. This is the piece that's going to go on the inside. And I'm going to use this again. But I'm going to kind of near the bottom. Just kind of give yourself kind of like, you could use a ruler. I close this up. Hello, Lisa. Nice cooler day here. 29 degrees. How is that? Is this card for Kevin? <laughs> um, he does fish. When we go back to Manitoba and we go to our, my parents have a cabin at Pelican Lake. And so when we go take the boat out, sometimes we do go fishing. So my dad does fish as well. Um, so yes, I have a lot of little, a lot of men in my life that could use one of these cards for sure. Do you, do you guys have this stamp set? Have you uh, found it as challenging <laughs> as I have to come up with some ideas? It's just, I think it's just because it's a masculine. You can't add pearls. There's my problem. Can't add diamonds. Can't add ribbon. Maybe some burlap, but you know, fancy ribbon just won't go. <laughs> And then on the inside, what I wanted to put was this little hook, fishing hook. And I'm just going to make sure you remember, because this is a, a landscape card. I love your hair super cute. Thank you for noticing. Yes, I got, you know, lots chopped. I, uh, yeah, I wanted something new. <laughs> you know how you go through phases. Time to chop it off. So it's still easy to do, thank goodness. But uh, all right, so that's all I'm going to do for the inside. Hello, Sandy. I cannot do masculine. I know, it's very hard. Nice to see this set used in a different scene and colors for a change not, and, and not the fish as focal point looking great. Thank you. Yes. Wanted to kind of, we'll get to the fish, but... <laughs> For this first one, we're doing simple, simple. I wonder if this could be classed as simple stamping. It's just paper stamps. I don't know if daubers are included. Hmm. All right, so there is the card. Now I'm just gonna jazz up the envelope. I'm gonna put, my, put a little piece of wood grain on the front. To my grid paper, that would be good. There, and then I'm gonna bring in some yellow. Love the new hairdo, thank you. <laughs> sure, like, oh, I don't have my big scarf here anymore, it's great. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around this edge with the dauber as well, continue that theme a little bit and I'll fold this part over so I don't get it onto the front I am a huge Dauber fan almost sounds like Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> <It's so not. laughs> okay 
And then I'm taking my memento and I'm going to do some stamping of this hook. Along here. you all see the new um, simple stamping um, themes for March? So wedding, baby, and funeral. <laughs> kind of different to have that all in one <laughs> option, I suppose. But Lisa, have you given that a try yet? The simple stamping business? Never know. That reminds me, I did get my little credit and I totally forgot to use it. I sent an order in today. I should have should have put that and I could have got a few new little other little things to add it to my order. Alright. So there. There we have it. Our simple little masculine fishing card. And like I said, I, I don't have any sentiment here, but I mean, you could put your little happy birthday, you could put, you know, congratulations, whatever you think. Paper, ink, cardstock, and ribbon. That hook is a neat stamp. Yeah. Hatchings, beginning, middle, and end of life. Matchings and dispatchings. Yes, I'm simple stamping fail a simple stamping failure for the most part. No, you're not. Oh sheesh. I didn't mean to bring up a you know bad thing. No oh, sheesh. Alright, so that was card number one. Let's move on to card number two. Okie dokie. Okay, here's the fish. <laughs> Fish is going to be the focal part point in this sucker. All right, you got to do it once, right? Okay, and the envelope. Ta-da! Thank you, Vicky. All right, so let's get out the items for this. Got my wood grain paper again. I love that wood grain. Got some blends I'm going to use to color the fish. Some linen thread. I always want to add things. Oh, I know. I know. It just doesn't seem to finish, does it? Okay. So my first step is going to be, I have this little piece. I believe it is three quarter inch by five and a half inches. I'm going to glue that down. Vicki, you, uh, you did a fishing card with the tutorial bundle. That was an awesome one. That was an awesome card. Okay, let's get this fish going here. You are a brave lady to take that one on. <laughs> Where would I be without wood DSP? I know! It just like masculinifies everything, right? Or just calm something but he looks good without a tackle box and hat <laughs> that's also coming up soon yeah all right so I've just got old olive I've got my old olive ink and I'm just gonna randomly stamp this fish here there and everywhere do want to have at least one fish that's uh, pretty much on this strip. Let's go stick a fin in here. Fill that up a little. Doo -doo. There. And the face. So it's just kind of adding a little bit of background. Uh, 
every fish looks good without like a little hook in its mouth, right? Surely. <laughs> oh dear. You love this set? Really? And for females too. I bet there's lots of fishing people. It is just not my forte for you. I, hey, I'm glad that you uh, you are on the ball with this set. That's awesome. Breezer. Kevin. Kevin. I'm talking to myself. All right. That strip goes there. And then we're going to get to this fish. I'm going to stamp it using Memento Black. Let's put this aside so I don't ink it by accident. So I just have my little scrap piece here. There. Okay. And then I'm going to start using my blends. So the colors I'm using are um, light crumb cake, dark crumb cake, light and dark smoky slate, and light mossy, no, dark old olive, pardon me. Thanks, Lisa. I had lots of good feedback about our tutorial bundle. I still haven't heard a thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm, I, I can't hurt it, right? All right, so I'm just gonna put in some smatterings of old olive. Just as a little highlight, I guess. Mm -hmm. On all the fins. And this one. excited to show you what this framelit does when you cut it cut out this fish so you don't have to cut this fish by hand you can um, use the framelit I think that's all I used for that and then I used dark crumb cake to kind of oh, blend together. You don't have to um, blend the same colors together. I hope you knew that. So I know there's the light and the dark version of each color, but it doesn't mean that you have to blend those two together. You can always blend, you know, like I'm doing, a brown and a green. Why not? Okay, and I think I'm going to go in here with the crumb cake, the dark crumb cake, where it's really shadowed. That's where I'm going to put in a darker color. I need my glasses. Everybody have a good week. started I don't know got back from Manitoba my poor parents are now like they have colds so while we were there they weren't feeling the best that's for sure but um, yesterday I just uh, whew, at about three o'clock I don't know what happened but uh, I started feeling pretty nauseous nauseous and I was like cold and hot and it was almost like I had a fever or something. Breeze or honey? Where's Kevin? Is Kevin? Kevin! Where'd he go? He not being with you. Oh sheesh. He not babysitting, hey? He not being a very good babysitter. Oh sheesh. And I did some gray here. Anyway, so yeah, yesterday I just started feeling horrible. And it lasted all evening. 
but um, thankfully this morning I woke up and I felt okay. Jen, your people told me they loved the piece of cake card. Piece of cake card. I don't know. I don't have this one, but I bought well said and doily one. Yes. I struggled over that doily one, Janet. Oh, I don't know. It's so beautiful, but I just I can't get them all. So hard. Hi, Lori. No worries. Don't worry about being late. My co-worker gave me a cold last week. I'm still bitter about it. I know. There must be lots going around. So now I'm using my light crumb cake. I'm just going to fill in these bits here. Whoops. I see I went over some other bits too here. Yeah, I guess it's just a fall and a spring thing, isn't it? Getting, getting the flu and getting cold and... <laughs> Not fun at all. Let me see. I also added a little bit of smoke, light smoky plate here, and a little bit where this, these dots are kind of on this little fishy. A little bit there. I know, honey. Oh, Dios. Put a little in here. Okay, so it just kind of all blends together. Now, I'm gonna run it through the big shot and, and I will show you this fancy little thing that it does. I just bought the Best Catch Bundle, so I'm happy to see you using it. This will give me some inspiration. I know, it's a, this one's a toughie. Okay, so I'm here <laughs> on my little rolly cart. Do, do, do. Talk amongst yourselves. so great to see my Manitoba people and stamp with people get to hang out in Lori's um... oh sheesh I think I'm a little off here oh no Lori's amazing craft room Lori's Clark craft room it's amazing it looks like a store she's got things hanging Everything just so. Looks, I love it. It's nice to visit for a little bit. Okay, so look at this. So here it cuts it out lovely. But look, it also cuts out the fins. So you can pop them up a little. Isn't that cool? So they kind of stick up. So it just makes it a little more 3D looking. There you go. Now, you can leave the white around the outside or you can take what I did and I just, I use a dauber and I think there's just some leftover uh, early espresso in here or some kind of brownish color, eh, whatever. And just to soften that white line around the outside, you can just go in there with a dauber. And now it's not so potent, not so bright. I think I need a rolly cart. Is that from Ikea? No, this one's from Michael's. I think I should have got the one from Ikea. This one's pretty, um, not, is not super sturdy, but I do like the fact that it has the little topper. So that's where I put my big shot, like it. Oh my gosh, that's definitely not been marketed. That has definitely, yeah, oh no, no, the little fish flappy things, no, not at all, which I was kind of surprised at. Okay, so we're done coloring Mr. Fish, and I am going to take the crumb cake, which is where? Over here. I forgot here. I was going to put these little... They're like little bubbles. All I'm going to do is just put them randomly all over this section. I think my crumb cake needs.
needs a, a refill here. It's not too dark. But I'll just give it some something. enough. <laughs> You'll be near Ikea in April. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. In Manitoba, there was an Ikea in Winnipeg, which was two hours, whoops, two hours away. And now there's, um, in Alberta, there is a, an Ikea that's about an hour away. So yes, craft room was, you know, all decorated with lots of Ikea stuff. You love that fish, hey? Okay, so Miss uh, Sandy Peters showed me how to do this, so I put a bunch of snail on here. I'm using the linen thread, and I'm just going to do some loop-de-loops and stick it down onto that. And if it starts to kink, you can always give it a kind of a rub between your fingernails and try to fill in those gaps where it's kind of um, hasn't been done with some thread yet. Oh, what up? You're looking good. Razor got a haircut while he was in Manitoba. Now he looks like a different dog. And now, of course, he's cold so he's wearing his little vest in the house oh my goodness we had hello we had um the fire inspector people come to the condo today and they were um just checking all the fire alarms etc so i think there were i don't, I don't know how many Condos are on this floor, but every single one. Bang, bang, bang. And the flashing lights, and of course, the dogs are going nuts, and they just they hate that sound. And, and they just they shook for the longest time, and I took them outside. Where is my dimensionals? So it was a hectic afternoon, to say the least. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals, being a little bit careful about. I know, honey. I don't know where Kevin went and why he's not helping you. Hmm? Being, just being aware of where these little pop-ups are. You don't want to put a dimensional behind it because uh, kind of stick to it and then it won't pop up so well. So I got some linen thread. I thought, oh, maybe he looks like he's caught, <laughs> caught in the fishing line. <laughs> All right, and then I had it's your freezer, honey. I'm a little busy. Where's Kevin? This is why I don't have children. <laughs> okay, it's your day in Memento Black. his thing right now he just I don't know he got old and now he's you know if he wants something he barks never used to do that but I guess that uh, you know we've responded to his barking and so now he realizes that's probably a pretty good strategy Even though it drives me nuts and then of course I want to get the like water squirt gun Kevin, no, there, get water on the floor. Blah, blah, blah. Fine, he'll just continue barking. All right, so on the inside, I just stamped off, well, this one I didn't stamp off, but I know if you had crumb cake, because my ink pad needs a, a re-ink, um, I would stamp off first and then stamp. I just want it to be kind of like a little background bit. Do you have Golden Afternoon stamp set? Golden Afternoon? I don't think so. 
Is that a new set, Janet? Not sure. Hi, Alice. Kevin, I know. Bruiser wants to craft too. Oh, man. <laughs> For one, he has cataracts, can't see. It's not so great at the hearing. Yeah, I know. Oh, the troubles with getting old, right? So that's all I'm gonna put on the inside. It's just simple, a little something, a little surprise when you open it, right? Tree set in the occasions. Is not coming to me. Shh. Oh no, not that one. Golden afternoon. Oh, no, I don't. Hmm. Are you having trouble with that one? It looks like it, it might take some thought to that one. You, you have that one, Wendy. Ah. See, I totally missed it. Did not stand out for me. I haven't, oh, I haven't seen very much with it. Hmm. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, let's put that on the inside. And then what did I do for the envelope? I put Mr. Fish with crumb cake. Crumb cake. Okay, seriously. You and Wendy will have to get together and share ideas for that one. Let me check to make sure. Yep. Good, good. Here's my little fishy. Now, what did I do with the flaps? Oh, yes. I just stamped some of those uh, bubble things on the, the flap in old olive. Just to tie that in. Uh, for sympathy cards. I suppose, yeah. Hi, Megan. I am still here, yes. I had to um, not be on on Monday because I was traveling back Sunday and I just didn't have time to get prepared. So... Took a little time off, but I really didn't because I was, <laughs> I still look at, you know, patterns and think about things and do emails and all the sorts. So I don't think I ever take time off. All right, that's all I'm doing for the outside of the flap, just to add a little interest. Good enough. So there's my card. Now the golden bossing on the tree. Ooh, that would be a good one. All right, there's fishing card number two. Put this away. Oh, I remember I need to keep my thread. Next one. Here's the basket and the hat. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> so, a little different. I don't know. Got the wood grain, but used a different color than, than the brown. Um, I don't know. How, how did your classes go? Wonderful. 
Wonderful. Oh, so great to see everybody. And yeah, we had lots of people, which was so much fun. Okay, so it's just inspiring when you get to stamp with other people, right? They come up, you know, some people make mistakes. I make mistakes and then I learn from those mistakes and you come up with brand new ideas, which are wonderful. So, yes, love crafting with other people. It's just not taken off like I had hoped here in Canmore. Um, so that's why I'm kind of trying to do the online route. Hopefully someday, a little more uh, persistence and patience and what's not. Oh, please. I don't know what you want, honey. You're just a shaking. Oh, that Kevin Houston. Aww. So I'm gluing this on. This was run through with the wood grain embossing folder. Look away, Shirley. <laughs> what, don't you like blue? Oh, Shirley was the basket and the hat. <laughs> yes. It's a little different, a little different. So then I used my rectangle framelits and the wood grain paper. All right, give me some thumbs up or sad faces for wood grain. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, give me, you know, like angry or a sad face. But look at that, I think it looks great with that. Okay, next, I'm also using wood grain for the basket. I'm gonna stamp right onto the wood grain paper. That way it, it kinda looks, it has that little bit of a wicker look. Play and practice, Shirley. I didn't get the fishing set, but it's growing on me watching this. Yeah, it's, it's growing on me too. Still not my favorite though. <laughs> That's, I'll be honest. But um, different strokes for different folks, right? Everybody has their likes and whatnot. So it's a challenge. I mean, you're not gonna like everything that uh, you make or everything that. Uh, comes out in the catalog but it was obviously worth coming out right because somebody thought it was pretty awesome okay so I stamped on there and now I'm gonna color this in with some balmy blue the light and the dark and the ivory so just to add a little it really doesn't need it but it just gives it a little something I think that's and then I did the buckle there and balmy blue One of my favorites. There. Whether that makes much of a difference. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out with the frame lit, which is where. Thought I had all the frame lits out. Did I put it back? Nope. guys see my frame what am I blind I did get my hair cut lots <laughs> lots chopped off I just wanted something a little different just you know change things up well I guess then I'm going to just cut it with the scissors, which is definitely doable, but that is bizarre. Okay. You're crappy at watercoloring too. I have Spectrum Noir marker and glitter pens. Ooh. DSP. Oh, wood grain. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Bump, bump, bump. 
So as you can see, we can get away with not having the framelits. <laughs> but you won't have the cool um, fish fins popping out. And it comes with that, um, the reeds there. Freezer, honey, I don't know. What's the matter? Okay, so there's our basket. And I'm now going to do a little hat just in crumb cake. And I did it with the black. It's super short now. It is. <laughs> it's, it's, like I said before, it's like I've got rid, rid of a scarf great it'll be cool I hope for summer I'm used to so that's what happens when you get long hair it's you kind of start putting it up and you don't uh, don't even wear it down anymore because you just kind of had it so that's kind of the state state that I was in so I either put it up all the time or time to get it cut off all right now for this I added a little bit of the ivory. Just in places. And I did put the balmy blue. Which doesn't look so balmy blue on the crumb cake, but it's it'll do. So who did you send out cards to this week? Yes, I see it under markers. Good eye, Shirley. All right, well, we'll cut out the hat. <laughs> Bring over my cart. It's probably just as quick just to use the scissors. should be using my magnetic plate, but I, I'm not. There again, I'm so lazy. Thank you, Lori. Glad you're not the only one who loses her stuff. Oh, yeah. No, that's a skill, I tell you. I'm very well skilled at losing my things. <laughs> All right, so behind this piece of wood grain, I am going to put this little piece. Oh, I better stamp just a minute. I did this wrong the last time. Memento, and it's for you, Dad. Okay, how many for you, Dads, could I have? Oh, well. We'll use it. Okay. I'm going to stamp kind of here. There. Now I will start assembling. The last time I kind of put that on as a last minute and oh, I shouldn't have done that okay you sent out eight cards good for you hello Karen from Australia wow lots of Australians here do you know Wendy and who else do we got Vicki and Shirley All right. Now I'm just going to fold this over. Just kind of makes like a little tab. Just like that. A little something. Okay, now I'm going to assemble. So, once again, I'm just going to use some snail randomly placed. And try to not cover up the dad. Place that down and now I'm going to get my little basket and put it down over top. Let's go right here. Okay, and the hat. And Chrissy, pardon me, pardon me. I have three to send tomorrow. Small swaps I'm run. Oh, I want to be part of a swap. That'd be fun. 
know I went to my first um, on stage last year and I didn't do swaps because I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, you know, I was like deathly terrified because <laughs> I'm so nervous around people. I just, so I didn't know what to expect. My anxiety level was already like through the roof. So I just, I didn't do swaps. This year, I don't know. I haven't started any. I think it's just like an extra stress that maybe I don't need. Okay, now I only used one dimensional the last time and that burlap is quite bulky. So I'm actually going to layer the dimensionals. I don't know if you need to do this, but put two on top, whoopsie two on top of each other make it a little taller and Megan right pardon me pardon me <gasps> so many I think I think us uh, you guys outnumber us North Americans here <laughs> which is awesome although it's kind of your daytime there right I know it was mid-afternoon one of you. All right. Place that in the top. You know what? Let's make this one a little different. Let's put it on the bottom third as opposed to the top third. Just to switch it up a tad. All right. So now on the inside, I have a piece of Whisper White, which I'm going to stamp the fish in Sahara Sand. Now I'm going to use my practice gray because I want to see how dark it is. Of course you don't want a big, bright, no, it's, it's pretty light so it'll be fine. I think a few of my ink pads need a little bit of a re-ink. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. You could still write over top of that if you needed to. It's light enough for that. And then I'm going to use my Bonnie Blue to put It's Your Day right over top of the fishy. Okay. Good. So, yes, it's 12.52 p.m. where I am. Oh. Plus, what I've seen for you guys that don't think it's you know sacrilegious to cut up your stamps but some people have some people have cut off the dad and then just used the for you you can always of course stamp dad later if you wanted to use that saying but you're probably going to use for you much more often than for you dad just an option right all right let's get this glued inside the card a little element of surprise when you open it up boom okay now for the envelope I oops I think we're good I don't know if you can see this but I used that wood grain embossing folder and I embossed the flap and then once again I'm just going to use this um, Fisher dude on the front. Making it straight. Follow the little waves around his legs. There we go. And there's our third card. What time are we at? Oh, we're getting need to get going. So a little different. either look kind of fun. All right, that card is finished. Running out of room. Let's go with the last card. And then I'll show you some other cards that I made using this stamp set. So, you're the best catch ever. <coughs> Honey, I don't know what you want. What's the matter? You want to say hello? Show everybody your haircut? What do you want?
we both got haircuts. So we used to be pretty fluffy. Oh, a little fluffy. He's wearing his little little vest. He looks like a little it's a little leather looking one. <laughs> hey. Oh honey. I don't know what you want. Just some attention. I know. I know. Hey. You could always mask the dad. Smart idea. That's a good idea. Then you don't have to cut it off. Smart, smart. Well, honey, you could lay beside Bud. Hmm? You gonna be all right? Oh, little fella. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. I don't like licks on my mouth. Thank you very much. Okay. Best. You're the best catch ever. I've also seen this one as well where the you're the is taken off and best catch ever. So that's an idea, but yes, instead of cutting your stamp apart, let's, uh, let's mask it. Smart, smart. All right. So I've got my soft sea foam and I embossed it with a subtle embossing folder. There you can see it. All right. Yeah, a little doggy. He's so cute in his jacket. Yeah, he just stands there and shivers. Poor guy. All right, and then I have a piece of mint macaron where we'll put down there and a piece of wood grain. Um, wood grain uh, festival here tonight. That will go on the inside. This is for an envelope. Let me put these things aside. Okay, and then I was going to town and accidentally stamped this. So these are cut out with the stitched squares there, stitch framelits. All right, see you later, Vicki. And I cut out a bunch of the little fish. So part of that framelit set is that you get a large fish size and a small fish size. So there you have it. All right, now let's go with and now I'm just going to tie them together with the linen thread, which I kept out over here. All right. Yes, the Settles folder. And I used, for the cards in Manitoba, I tried um, sending vellum through the Settles embossing folder. Oh, it looked like material. It was amazing. So give that a try. It's, it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm just threading my fish and I'm just going to give it a little tie. Whoop. Okay, and put on the next fishy. This requires glasses. Do, do, do. Okay, and then I'm just going to give it a tie. I was thinking you could put a little heart on this. You're the best catch ever. I don't know. Honey. Oh, sheesh. Time to get my eyes checked again for sure. I'm starting to need, you know, light with my glasses on. Sheesh. Get no. It's okay, Weasel. Too sweet, okay? I'm almost done. Mama's almost done, okay? And the biggie fish on this side. Bam. What? You could use a pearl in these? <laughs> Make it look like a your iPad died? My iPad died. I'm good? Uh-oh. Make it look like it's uh, one of those dauber things. Bobber. Bobber. Pardon me. That's a smart idea. Hmm. 
a bobbin. No, was it a bobbin? Dob <laughs> Tells you how much I fish. Are you a fisher, Sandy? Do you like fishing? I like fishing, but I don't like, I, I, I kind of panic once something gets in the line. <laughs> so it's kind of like, but it's very relaxing. You know, sitting out in the boat, and all of a sudden you start to panic. I know, he needs cuddles, he does. Soon enough. There. Can I do it? Yeah. All right. He went to get, he went to the vet when we were back in Manitoba and to get all his le levels and everything checked and because he has kidney disease. He's 14, so I mean, he's had this for a while. And um, $800 later. Yeah. So, I need to sell lots of cards. <laughs> Holy, I need to become a vet, I tell you. Okay, let's get some glue dots. Can I do the middle one first. So I'm just going to put a glue dot on that and kind of fairly close to the bottom. And then let's put the next fishy. Give him a couple because he's a bigger one. Don't want him swimming away. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do this, but I'm sure there is. Okay. Little fishy. He gets one. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the other side. Uh, let's give him two. Good. Good aim. And the last little fishy went to market. This little fishy went home. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just gonna glue this. Actually, I could just tie it. Let's save my snail. Okay, snip that off. Now, let's assemble. So I'm gonna put my little, I feel like I'm getting crowded all of a sudden. Which side do I like this one? Just a subtle difference. I would rather read and I burn horribly and I don't really like fish. So, <laughs> so it doesn't really do much for me. What we do for our fur, fur babies, I, mm, sell a kidney or something, I don't know, Yozers. My sausage dog is so naughty, gets into everything. We got pet insurance, yeah. They are wood grain paper fish, they are. I'm going wood grain tonight, I tell ya. Yeah, for our little one here, Bud. Like, I don't think they had pet inch. Well, maybe they did. Because the dog came with the husband. This one. So, no training. Um, I don't think he... Don't think he had the option of insurance maybe back then. I don't know. But then we thought for this, for our little guy here that's just four, we had the option of getting the insurance. But I just... I don't know. I guess that cost every month. I guess that's the risk you take, right? Do ya, don't ya? All right, so I'm putting dimensionals on the back of this little, this is also the wood grain paper that I stamped on, but the white color. And we'll just pop that up a little. You're the best catch ever. Cute. 
All right, so now I'm going to take the, oh, we didn't even do the inside yet. What did I do here? I just put one of those hooks. I'm going to use early espresso since most of it is brown colored. Up and down, yep. There. I love the green, I know. All right, do that on the inside. Man, I can't believe it's almost March. I can remember when I was, you know, planning the different stamp sets I'd use, the different classes that I would hope to hold, and uh, man, it was, uh, March, you know, I was doing January, February, March, and I thought, oh, March is so far away, but it's like, oh, I should do it. And now it's like, oh my word, it's already here. Ah, ah, ah. I was gonna use the tea set tonight. But I thought, well, it's also another free set. In Manitoba, of course, I did a card with the Lily set and got everybody angry because you can't just you can't just buy the Lily set, right? You gotta you gotta buy $120 worth and then you can get your your Lily set. So I thought, oh, I better not keep doing cards with all the free sets because I'm gonna drive everybody nuts. All right, um, I think I will just put, I'm going to put a hat. What should I put? Uh, let's go with the hook. And it's still got that early espresso because I wasn't good and I didn't clean it off. Perfect. Okie dokie. There's my little fish. Fish card. Now, I'm going to show you some of the other ones that I have made just for ideas. So this one I made for a Valentine card. You probably saw me make this, but you're the best catch ever with my buffalo check. Love it. And the wood grain. And I like the little heart on the end. I thought it was kind of fun. And on the inside, I did some happy Valentine's Day-ish and some sp because I had a little smudge so if you take your um, Stampin' Blends and you just flick the water, the painting end, it makes little things disappear. And of course the envelope. So I had that one. And then last week for the um, Creative Escape, I made this one, which I quite liked. You love, like, yes, that card with the lily was so nice. And so this one had the four squares. I believe they were one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. And kind of did the dauber thing with crumb cake, just to kind of antique it a little bit. And then it's your day on the inside. And kind of same with the envelope, it kind of antiqued it look with the crumb cake. So that was that one. And today I made another one. This one I like. This one's cute. Dun, dun, dun. A shaker card. Of course, all my fish are sticking together in a big clump. I guess they swim in schools. <laughs> Anyways, so there they have it. The little fish swim around. And I don't know if you remember, but with, um, uh, what was that called? What's that called? Bottled up? Bottled up? bottle up with the bottles you had the option of these little um, they look like little water fizz marks so anyways I put that on there because I thought it'd be kind of fun and I got my little uh, reeds and then on the inside I totally did this upside down but then I figured well I think it'll be okay like that I forgot it was a, a landscape card and not a portrait card so that is one I did, and I did the same little hook there, and I stamped some hats. So that is that fishing set. I did it. That was a toughie, but I did it. So I hope 
um, this has inspired you to, if you have this set, give some of these techniques and ideas a try. Show me what you come up with because I'm interested, right? Um, thank you, everybody. <laughs> it was different, different tonight for sure. All right. Um, if you have any requests on certain stamp sets or ideas you want to learn, techniques you want to learn or anything, always let me know because I can always, um, gives, helps me springboard into a certain avenue for sure. All right. Whoops. Let's try something different. There we go. All right. The shaker card with oh, a cat and a fish. Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant, Sandy. That would be awesome. I don't have the, the cat set. I have the dog set, but oh, that would be, that would be awesome. Smart, smart, smart. All right. Well, ladies, I'm wiped. It's been a long day. I even had a nap, but it's still just whew, hoops me out. So I will see you again on Monday at the Creative Escape, 10 a.m. I've got a fun little pattern for you to try. And um, yeah, if you liked this video, please share it. And that way I will uh, pick somebody, whoever shares it, to um, get a free hand stand, handmade card for me. Anywhere in the world. It's always, it's always wonderful getting happy mail. So have a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever your time frame you're at, and I will see you again. Bye.